the first epistle of john an exposition on brotherly love lesson fourteen introduction one who is best known as the apostle of love a the apostle paul is certainly worthy of such an appellation in view of his disclosure on love in one corinthians chapter thirteen verses one through thirteen b but because of the many references to love in his first epistle John has come to be known as the Apostle of Love. 2. But now in the passage, which serves as the text for our study, John expounds upon the theme of brotherly love in much greater depth. 1 John chapter 4, verses 7-21 through 21. Brotherly love is evidence of sonship. 7-8 through 8. A. We should love one another, for love is of God. 1. As will be illustrated shortly, true love, the Greek word is agape, active goodwill emanates from god one john chapter four verse seven a two that is because god is love one john four verse eight b a every action of his is motivated out of an active goodwill towards us b this does not mean he overlooks sin for god is also light one john chapter one verses five through six B. Those who love demonstrate their sonship. 1. They demonstrate that they are born of God and know God. Uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7b. 2. But if one does not love as God does, then they have not yet come to truly know God. 1 John chapter 4, verse 8a. But lest any misconstrue the kind of love being discussed, he expands upon the definition of true love mentioned earlier in 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. Brotherly love is defined by God's love. 9 through 11. A. God manifested his love through the gift of his Son. 1. He sent his only begotten Son. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. John chapter 1 verses 14 and 18 uh, John chapter 3 verses 16 and 18 2 he sent his son not because we loved him but because he loved us 1 John chapter 4 verse 10 Romans chapter 5 verse 8 3 he sent his son for two reasons a that we might live through him 1 John chapter 4 verse 9 John 10 verse 10 b that he might be the propitiation and appeasing sacrifice for our sins 1 john chapter 4 verse 10 jesus died not just to provide forgiveness but also to provide new life b this is the kind of love we should have one if this is the kind of love god has had toward us a act of goodwill b manifested unconditionally to a certain extent of course two then this is the kind of love we should have toward one another a where we love not because we are loved first b but as god is love so we are to be as his children luke chapter 6 verse 35 brotherly love is evidence of fellowship with god 12 through 16 a through brotherly love God's abiding is possible. 1. No one has seen God at any time. 1 John chapter 4 verse 12a. John chapter 1 verse 18. 2. However, when we keep the command to love one another, God will abide in us, and his love will be perfected in us. 1 John chapter 4 verse 12b. 1 John chapter 3 verse 24 a. 3. We know this is true because of the Spirit which God has given. 1 John chapter 4 verse 13. 1 John chapter 3 verse 24 b. A. The Spirit was to remind the apostles of all that Jesus taught. John chapter 14 verse 26. B. This included Jesus' teaching on how the Father and the Son would abide in them through keeping the commandments. John chapter 14 verse 21 and 23. B. 
This is not the only necessary requirement for God to abide in us, but it is an essential one. 1. The apostles have testified that Father sent the Son to be our Savior. 1 John chapter 4, verse 14. 2. And so we must be willing to confess Jesus as the Son of God. 1 John chapter 4, verse 15. Then, when we have known and believed the love God has for us manifested in the sending of His Son, we are in a position to fully accept two basic principles of the gospel. A. God is love. B. He who abides in love abides in God and God in Him. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. Brotherly love provides assurance. 17 through 19. A. When brotherly love is perfected, we can have boldness. 1. As we grow and become more complete and mature in brotherly love, we will be able to have boldness in the day of judgment. 1 John chapter 4, verse 17a. 2. The boldness will come from knowing that as his children, we were like him in this world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 17b. B. As brotherly love is perfected, fear is dispelled. 1. Because the prospects of torment naturally produce fear, the more we grow in God's love, to that degree fear is dispersed. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18a. 2. If we fear the day of judgment, that is an indication we need to grow in love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18b. 3. Growing in love is made so easy for us, however, because God first loved us. 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. Brotherly love is essential to loving God, 20-21. Twenty through 21. A. To claim to love God and still hate one's brother is a lie. 1. Like those who claim. A. To have fellowship with God while they walk in darkness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 6. B. To have not sinned. 1 John chapter 1, verse 10 and c to know jesus while not keeping his commandments 1 john chapter 2 verse 4 so is one who claims to love god while hating his brother john says that they are all liars 1 john chapter 4 verse 20 a 2 for to love one whom we cannot see god requires that we first be able to love those whom we can see 1 john chapter 4 verse 20 b B. To love God, therefore, means we must develop brotherly love. 1. This is why we have the commandment from Jesus, John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. 2. Indeed, Jesus taught that loving God and one another were the two greatest commandments of the old law. Matthew chapter 22, verses 35 through 40. Conclusion. 1. If brotherly love is a evidence of sonship b defined by god's love for us c evidence of fellowship with god d a means of providing assurance in the day of judgment and e essential to loving god how dare we neglect this most essential commandment of god two while there are other commands of our lord that we must be careful to obey none is so important so essential to our spiritual life as god's children as this one this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you john chapter 15 verse 12 are we letting the love that God displayed toward us through his son Jesus to teach us how to love one another? An exposition on brotherly love, the end.